What up, though? This your man. C. Mill. C from the D coming at you with everything that's real. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Hoping that the day is going good for you. Uh, I just want to send a shout out to uh, Sheena B. And uh, getting married. Uh, her and my guy. Uh, they tied the knot. So congratulations to them. Big prayers and blessings sending their way. Positive energy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, give a shout out to her mother, Kim for helping her um, with the wedding um, and uh, it was very very beautiful very very beautiful very beautiful um, today is a great day you know what I'm saying and uh, despite what you might be going through just know it's going to get better you know what I'm saying as long as you keeping your head in the right direction and keeping your faith in God you know what I'm saying? And keeping them prayers coming in. Keep those prayers going in. Or should I say going up? Um, today, I want to talk to you about um, the narcissist. The culture in your city and the narcissist. Because your narc might be different and do things different from a narcissist here or narcissists, you know what I'm saying, in Yugoslavia or the UK or whatever, you know what I'm saying, you have to evaluate the situation and know what you can and can't do. Uh, basically, basically, they are a lot similar to all the narcissists, but you know what I'm saying, it's cultural barriers which make narcissists do different things also, you know what I'm saying. Like here in Detroit, in the D, um, number one thing is, you know what I'm saying, you can't be running your mouth. You can't be running your mouth to the, your narcissist about things that you've got accomplished or you're getting accomplished or, or things that's about to happen. Because for some high reason here, uh, it's, it makes it harder you to get it done. Don't talk about your, your accomplishments that you're trying to get done and the blessings that God is bestowing upon you. Those are your personal situations, you know what I'm saying? That's called personal information. You know what I'm saying? A good thing happens to you, don't tell it. You know what I'm saying? Don't yell it, don't spell it, don't nothing. Just thank God. You know what I'm saying? That's all you got to do is thank God. The ones that's close to you, that's good folks, They'll know what it is because you can talk to your real people, but you can't talk to your to the fake, the fake real people. You can't you can't tell them everything because what it invokes is jealousy and hate and envy and rage. You know what I'm saying? They get this. Uh, I don't know how they they develop it, but they do. Uh, things start turning around for you or looking up for you, and they they grow this hate in their heart and it's called je and it's really invoked by jealousy um you have to really watch it you know what i'm saying with you know people you talk to about things that's happening in your, in your life you know what i'm saying because it could be very it, they'll turn around and and really hate you and really try to foil things up for you you know what i'm saying they try to throw a monkey wrench in your uh hookup you know and uh, for no good reason, just no good reason. They just don't want to see you come up, you know. And the cultural part, like I was talking about, is like here in Detroit. And I'm, I'm assuming it's like this everywhere. You can't talk about your stuff. You can't talk about your personal good situations that's going on for you. Just, just go through them and with a smile on your face, thanking God for those blessings. Because these people are notorious, especially here in Detroit, once they know your information, then they try to throw a monkey wrench in it, you know what I'm saying? You gotta keep those lips sealed. Keep them sealed, man. I'm telling you. Keep them sealed and watch how things go better for you at a more rapid rate. And keep on praising God and praying just in your own little world, you know? And you'll be straight, I'm telling you. Because it's like an energy that builds up. You know what I'm saying? 
you know, don't run your mouth. And it's a good energy because you're not being boastful or braggadocious or none of that. You just, you just thanking God. You know what I'm saying? First off, you thanking Him for waking you up in this morning. This morning, then you thanking Him for all the blessings that's coming upon you that He's bestowing upon you. It's coming from Him. He's the good source. He's the great source. He's the only good. He's the greatest source there is. They ain't um. Uh, there's no no other source now. If you getting blessed by somebody else, then it's the, the, definitely the devil. Um. You can't run around doing uh, heinous acts, malicious acts, speaking about other people in bad terms behind their back. You know what I'm saying? Spreading rumors and all that stuff, and then you think things are gonna turn out. In your favor, that, that that doesn't work like that because the Bible speaks about very frequently about being a talebearer and stirring up discourse amongst brethren or your sisters or whoever. You can't run around, you know what I'm saying, running your mouth and talking down on people, man. It's just not good. It's not good. It's not a good look for you as a person. It's not a good look on your personality and your persona. And it's definitely not a good look in the realm of energy, the spiritual aspect, because that's something that he encourages you not to do. And if you do it continuously, then you'll continuously have bad situations popping up. You know what I'm saying? And you will be in disarray because you're not following none of the rules. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things you can do, a lot of things you can't do, but is it in your favor to do them? You know what I'm saying? You got free will, no doubt, but the narcissist wants to destroy everything about you. I don't care if you ain't been around them in a year. They still want to just meddle for no reason, you know what I'm saying, and taunt you and just get in your business and then mainly get in your head. You know what I'm saying? To bring that doubt and bring that negative vibe, that negative energy. So it can throw you off. Once they throw it, get in your head and stuff and make you start doubting things that's supposed to come to pass, then will they? I don't know. Because you let a big ball of negative energy come into your life. You can't do that. You cannot let somebody else tell you what is going on with you. God is the engine and the transmission he's going to drive you to where you need to go but you have to put in some effort you know what i'm saying you have to put in effort with your choices the people you hang around and the people you talk to and what you talk about oh uh, it ain't like that and this and that but i'm here to tell you yes it is it's exactly like that you don't want to get caught up you know like basically catch yourself up into some bull you know what I'm saying? With somebody like growing some envious hate. It's just thoughts and stuff. And then on top of that, you don't know if somebody trying to do voodoo on you or witchcraft or whatever. You know what I'm saying? But you can't let them know your your inner workings. You know what I'm saying? You can't let them know your modus operandi, like how you move, you know, out here. You know what I'm saying? That's private nowadays because now spiritually it's a dark time. You know, uh, with the war going on with Israel popping off and all these other things that's happening in the news that's going to, like, sooner or later affect our gas prices and all that stuff. Everything affects everything else. Everybody thinks, you you know, you are an individual. You are an individual. You are your own entity. But you tie into other entities and other energies by what you do how you do and what you say and what you talk about so you or you block bad entities by not cho choose by choosing not to talk about your personal agendas and things that you're aspiring to accomplish you know what i'm saying so that is how you just you just separate them you know what i'm saying you talk to somebody you see somebody hey what's up you can kick it with them and all that you know what i'm saying but don't tell them like your main um, goals and not even your short term goals I wouldn't even share with them because narcissism is too real Voodoo. 
mess up or if they could do something to help it mess up, they will. I don't know what type of drive they have in them like that. Because to me, it just don't even make no sense, you know, because first, which is God, Jesus Christ, Holy Spirit, the Trinity, and you want good things to happen to you, then you operate in that light. Nothing else matters, you know what I'm saying? Even if you was bad back in the day or you did stuff that you regret, it's called self-reflection. It's called changing your ways. It's called making amends with yourself and in your own heart and in your own mind. That that's not what you're doing anymore, you know. What I'm saying that's why you become a new creation, new creation, new creation in Christ. You know what I'm saying? Route doing it the right way and not the hate way. <laughs> and uh, hey, pray for your enemies, man. You know what I'm saying? And pray that God keep you. He said He'll move you around your enemies to where they don't know the moves that you're making and how you're gonna do it. And that's it. Don't worry about it. Don't try to figure it out. Just know that God going to make a way for you. You know what I'm saying? Things have been turning out wonderful and beautiful. See from the D coming at you with everything that's real. Praise. And keep your mouth shut. You know what I'm saying? And you and move. I see y'all be blessed. Peace.